A little bit of context before we begin. Most of the paintings in Minecraft are based on paintings by Christopher Zetterstrand. I was looking him up to see how to pronounce his name. <laughs> I find this video. This is beautiful. So I thought it'd be fun to show every painting, but also show the original painting that Zetterstrand did before they were turned into Minecraft paintings. First up on the list, the fighters is one of my favorite of the larger scale paintings. I love whatever is going on in the background and it's kind of cool how one side is really light and the other is really dark. I wonder if there's there's some meaning to that. The original is right here. The characters are from the game International Karate Plus. I'm pretty sure I've seen this game before. I've never played it, but just based on the Minecraft painting itself. It's four by two blocks. You're gonna need quite a bit of space for it, although it's not the worst out of all the paintings here for, for that reason. I'm gonna rate this one an A. I like it a lot. The next painting is titled Match. Now, I've always thought this was like an alien hand of some sort. To me, I never really saw the fingers. <laughs> I'm sorry, but it just reminds me of Dork Diaries. That's a reference only like three people are gonna get, but <laughs> I'm sorry, it's all I can think about. This one is the original, and as you can see, the fingers are there. I'm just, my brain, I do like the original a lot more. For that reason, I'm gonna give this one a C. Not because I don't like it, but I just think there are some better ones. All right, third painting, the stage is set. So this one confused me a lot. I was like, oh, it's a spooky little spider. That's cool. The scene is from Space Quest 1, and the character is Graham from King's Quest. I've actually played King's Quest, but I also think this one is really simple compared to the other ones, and it all feels a little bit random. Here's the original. We've got more of a background going on. I just thought it was like the wall of a cave or something. I'm not really sure. I'm gonna put it in C for now, although that might change in the future. This one's just titled Graham. It's the same character from King's Quest as the last one. It's also based on an oil painting. Still life with quince, cabbage, melon, and cucumber. At first I didn't really see the, the inspiration, then I looked at the painting that he actually did and I was like, ah, okay, <laughs> there's the cabbage. <laughs> Someone could make the argument that it's not his work, he's really just copying from other creators, but pop art, the entire concept is copying from different people and, and making something new based on things that already exist, so I'm putting this one in C. Every time we do this, I end up filling up C so quickly. <laughs> Next up we have this one, which, what is this called? Monsieur. Monsieur. Monsieur? Bonjour, Monsieur Corbet. It reminds me of like a winter storm. Just the, the faint outline of, of something in the distance. I don't know. It's um two hikers with pointy beards greeting each other. And it was based on the painting by Gustave Corbett. But it's all right, but I just don't think it really translated well into Minecraft. And that's why I'm gonna put this one, this one in D. Okay, I like this one a lot. So Skull on Fire was apparently based on a screenshot. I really enjoy the whole mix of pixelation and the realistic skull. Even if you didn't know that was Minecraft, you'd think, hey, that that's actually really fucking cool. <laughs> this one gets an S from me. I do want to mention the size and I do want to say like, that would have bumped it down a tier if I didn't like it so much. This painting, I always thought it was a Minecraft creeper. Just like, if you look at it, you can kind of see like the eyes and the mouth. I don't know, I thought it was just like an abstract creeper painting. But I come to find out, it's actually a plant. The, uh... Paradis thread is Swedish for money tree. I still see Minecraft creeper. <laughs> I don't really see the plant in the Minecraft version, but that doesn't mean it's bad. I think the composition works enough to where it works by itself. And I'm gonna put this in B. Ah yes, the pig painting. What is this one called? <laughs> this one is called RGB. It is based on the artist's studio by Jakob van Oost. Oh, I guess they just slapped a pig head on the top and I kind of respect that, you know, I kind of do. But again, this one is four by four blocks. I don't see it being that practical for your house, but um, if I ever meet the artist, I'm gonna ask. 
Why the pig? Another small painting, we have Wasteland. And I've always kind of thought this one was just, just a window and we're looking out on like a post-apocalyptic world or something. There's a rabbit! <laughs> I wouldn't have guessed that there'd be a rabbit there. As for the Minecraft version, again, you can't really tell it's a rabbit, but I do still like it. I'm gonna give this one a C again. All right, next one is titled Sunset underscore dense. Oh, I think I know what they mean by dense. They did that. <laughs> the colors are just chef's kiss. Chef's kiss. This one gets an S from me. I really like it. It's super beautiful, super great. Love this painting. This one is titled Seaside. As you can see, we've got the Minecraft creeper just doing his little creepy thing. I don't know how we got his little feetsies up there. They don't have hands, so it has to be. I am terrified. Okay, so <laughs> this one also goes hand in hand with this one. And it's the same thing with just a little plant here. I don't really know what the purpose of having both of these would be. Maybe someone somewhere has jump scared someone with this. I don't know. <laughs> it's all right. I think this one you could almost just get away with having it by itself. Here's the original. Oh, it's not his little feetsies. Please say I'm not the only one that thought that. This is a good painting. I like it. As for the Minecraft ones, now that I know these aren't creeper toes, my mind has been settled. I'm gonna give this one a B. There's only so many places that you could put the creeper one. I'm gonna bump it down one level. This one's called Wanderer. It's a version of Caspar David Friedrichs... Friedrichs... David Friedrichs... Friedrich. Wanderer above the sea of fog. I appreciate the whole like diorama kind of look that Zetterstrand has going. Senior year of high school, we read Frankenstein. And despite like all of the, the book deadlines that I knew I wasn't gonna meet, so I just read the Spark Notes version of some of the chapters, I genuinely enjoyed it. I'm going B. Next up is this one. So I've only played Donkey Kong once. This is apparently the final level of Donkey Kong. As for the original, we've got like this whole like brick background. I like it a lot, that brick. Again, I love the mix of realism with little classic video game references. I'm not a Nintendo nerd, so I, I don't know that much about it, but it's getting a B from me because I still think, even if you didn't know it was Donkey Kong, it still looks cool. The Wither, it's actually the only painting not inspired by a real one. To me, it's kind of like the lore of Minecraft, like knowing nothing about the game, you make your little house, you put up a painting and then it turns into this and you're like, holy crap. I need to build that. Ooh. And they get blue skulled really fucking hard. And this story probably never happened, but it would be cool. <laughs> it would have been cool to think about. It's an all right painting. I don't mind it, but it's it's not one of my favorite ones. I'd say it's a, it's a C. To see for me. This painting right here is called Bust. The dude in the picture is Marcus Aurelius. I looked him up and apparently he was the last of the five good emperors of Rome and after his death there was a huge civil war. Here is the original painting. Again, I love the combination of realism and pixelated work. A very detailed portrait. Man, I'm kind of stumped. I don't know if it should be a B or an A. I'm gonna put this one in A. I actually quite like it. Moving on to this one. Pronunciation. Today. Today. Kebab medtre pepperoni. Of, of uh, a kebab with three green chili peppers. I thought we were having pizza, but it's fine. It's fine. All right. I think the colors on this one are really beautiful. Like, you can't tell what it is. I honestly thought it was like maybe a bouquet of some sort. Here's the original. I'm also going to put this one in B. This one is titled D underscore, D underscore and under, what? D underscore, under, I can't stop. <laughs> this one is titled D underscore Aztec. Finally. It's a painting of a Counter-Strike map, which is interesting. I am just seeing a bird with a little pink blush under his eye. Please say someone else sees this. I, 
It's not a bird. It's not a bird in the corner. <laughs> but yeah, I never really knew what this was supposed to be. It's still good. It's still a good painting. I really like the colors. A couple of other one block paintings that I like a little bit more than this one though. Finger. <laughs> If I'm right, I think it's the same game as the Fighters. Yeah, International Karate Plus. On the wiki, it did state that maybe it could be interpreted as the creation of Adam by Michelangelo. Here's the original. This painting is another 4x4. Four four. A huge painting. It is really cool, I'll give it that. But I just, I don't know if I'd, I'd hang it up. This was tough, but it would have been an A if um, it was more practical. I always thought this one was like a fish with a really big eye. <laughs> okay, is this one against TOS for YouTube? Because um, I had no idea that there were some asses. It is cool though. I'm gonna go see for this one. It's the angel one and it is titled The Void. <laughs> it consumes, it must feed. Here's the original one. Honestly, in the original one, I can't even tell that the the pixelated fire is even supposed to be fire. In the Minecraft one, they definitely added some some different oranges and, and yellows to that, so it makes it more obvious that that's supposed to be fire. But if we're just looking at it from face value, look at those clouds. Hey, it's getting it's getting an A from me. Ooh, we've got this one. Okay, I have no idea what it's supposed to be, but it reminds me of like a lighthouse on a sandy beach with the light shining across the sky. Again, no clue what it is actually. This one is another painting of a Counter-Strike map. I love the surrealism of this. I was not able to tell what it is from just looking at the Minecraft version, but I'm seeing this now and it's, it's actually really cool. I'm gonna give this one an A. It is one of my favorite smaller paintings. Maybe I just really enjoy skull paintings. This one is titled Moonlight Installation. The warm tone of the colors is contrasting with the, the lighter, cooler tones of the skull in the background. It's just, come on. I will put it in my house every time. The original, wow, totally different. Still going strong in the S tier. This is the last big one. The skeleton is from a 1998 game called Grim Fandango. The work itself is titled Mortal Coil. <laughs> Look at the little skeleton man. Aw. This painting does bring me joy. I don't know why. It's just you have the Minecraft version very zoomed in and then you look at the original and he's just so tiny. But I'm gonna put it in B. It is a ridiculous size. It's four by three. Again, another commitment if you want to have this in your house. All right, second to last painting. Here we go. This one, ooh, the colors. It is titled Albanian. Kind of just see like the late evening, the sun is setting, there's some cacti, maybe some other desert plants. But apparently there's a dude. <laughs> it's going up there with lighthouse that is in a lighthouse. All right, we're here. The last painting which I could not tell you what it is. It is titled Target Successfully Bombed. I thought this was a peaceful little landscape, but no. <laughs> it's another Counter-Strike map. They're actually like little buildings, okay. I didn't think there would be structures in it. Uh, let me zoom out a bit because I wanna show you the corner. There is a, a dollar sign. I don't really know the meaning of that. I don't play Counter-Strike, so maybe this is another Counter-Strike reference, but I do love, like, it's almost like a watercolor effect in the sky. I do like the original a lot more than I like the Minecraft version, though. I'm gonna put it down there, just so this painting isn't lonely. Well, that's it for today's video. Do you agree with my ratings? I wanna read your guys' opinions, so let me know, and yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm Winfelly, and I hope to see you guys next time. Goodbye!